Beijing Jingdao machine tools. Now, you might not have heard of these guys. They're from China. Not many in the UK or Europe at the moment. We're going to change that for them, most definitely. Mark, looking at this machine, it is absolutely amazing. If I can make a statement like that, you know, things like your spindle speed. What spindle speed is it running at? Yeah, we have spindles, uh, own made spindles by uh, Beijing Jingdao. We make spindles from 20,000 RPM, yeah. 24, 28, and 32. So, uh, own produced, uh, yeah. very accurate. Super fast. So, this is a full five axis with a twin knuckle. Yes, twin knuckle uh, uh, compensation. Uh, we have a, uh, a direct drive uh, engines, uh, motors inside for the wow. fourth and the fifth X. Okay. And um, yeah, That's very nice, nice machine. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. And then you've got the automation system in the background there, which will hold up to 24 pallets. Yeah, we have 24 pallets, 80 uh, kilograms of pallets. Wow. Uh, on this moment, we have 60 tools in this machine. So there's a lot of machine. Yeah, we have a lot of machining time what we can do on this machine. Absolutely. But the most thing is also we can mill and we can grind in one machine. Wow, okay. We'll come to that in a second though, because controls here is separate. So that's part of controlling the thermal growth of the machine as well. Yeah, the, the, the biggest issue in quality and in accuracy is heat. So yeah. what we are always looking at is uh, to get the heat out of the machine. Absolutely. Now it starts, of course, with the coolant. But also the ball screws, uh, the the double, uh, the DD drive uh, yeah. motors, the spindle, everything uh, produces heat, and that is what we are cooling down. Okay. Also, the electrical cabinet is separated from the machine, that we don't get any heat yeah. from the electrical cabinet to the machine. Okay. Now you mentioned super accurate parts, and straight away when you when you said grinding, I'm thinking really really tight tolerances. Yeah, we have a re really tight tolerances. We are uh, looking for plus minus two uh, uh, micron on wow. the to on the tolerances. Not only on grinding, but also if we are going to mill, only by milling, yep. we also succeed this kind of tolerances. Okay, now people who haven't heard of Beijing Jingdao, you actually started out as a software CAD CAM company, is that correct? Yes, in 1994, they started out making their own software. Uh, they started by CAD CAM, um, and, on the own, and they had a lot of in innovations in this software. These innovations are not uh, suitable for the machines on that time. Well, they were too powerful, weren't they? The software was too yeah, powerful for the machine tools. The, the, the software was too smart. Yep. And on the end, you see that uh, it has to combine together. Yep. So customers said, OK, we want to have this software. We, uh, you have smart solutions, but our machines are not compatible with this uh, software. Can you build your own machines? So on the end, uh, Beijing Jingdao produces own machines. Wow. And now the controller is the very oh, smart are. part of the machine. Together with the software, we can reach uh, the really, really nice tolerances on yeah. really nice parts. Well, we'll come to components in a minute. So in terms of the controller, what it, is it easy to use? If people have used, say, Fanuc or Hyden Home before, is it easy to use these controls? Yeah, I think it is easy to use. I mean, it's like driving a car. Every car is the same, um, yeah. and you have to learn a couple of things that it is different. Yeah. It's the same like every other controller. Okay. The only thing is that we have a lot of smart innovations in this controller, so we can do measurement in the machine in mm -hmm. the process we can see the part on the screen and we also can see in the screen exactly what are on that moment the the uh, yeah, the parts yep. what we have to produce and what is the mistake or what is uh, right. what we have to do uh, yeah adjust because this this machine and this company is all about a whole solution without any intervention from the operator yeah. so it, you design on your cad cam system load the billets up you walk away you leave it for a a, an hour or a day a week whatever however long it takes and this does it all yes that's the whole idea about our machines yeah we say okay on the end uh, you make money when you have uh, good parts and the parts they uh, they make the money for our yeah. our customers so if you have a machine that can do really that what you want to have succeeding and what you have programmed uh, then you don't need to measure every time uh, check every time, yeah. the machine will do everything by himself and on the end you have right parts getting out of the machine. So basically, once you've loaded those billets, there's no operator intervention whatsoever? No, you, you work eight hours a day, you program your parts, you pu put all the material in your loader, the machine will start finding his reference point, yep. he's going to mill and grind or what you have programmed, he's going to measure over this yep. right what he did, and if you say, okay, I want to have a semi finish and I want to have two microns uh, uh, stock allowance, okay, after this two microns, he is going to check, or after this semi finish, he is going to check. Yep. And before I finish, he makes an adjustment to right. uh, succeed this uh, zero tolerance on the end. And that is all in one machine without okay. any interventions from people. 
Yeah, and so you can sleep very well. Absolutely. So essentially you're machining that, checking, double checking, and this is interactive. It'll work and it'll adjust the program for you. Yes, the controller has a kind of post-processing on the end. Yep. So it is not a controller, so like normal in the, on the market. It's yep. not only going from X, Y, Z, uh, movement from point to point. No, our controller is really calculating by himself, is also looking to the point of the cutting tool, and uh, if the cutting tool is having a different shape, we can measure with the, with the uh, laser inside of wow. the machine. Okay. And this cutting point, he is going to check and he is going to adjust this in the controller by himself. We don't need to do anything. Brilliant. You make it sound nice and simple. So you're making money while you're sleeping, essentially. That is the whole idea for that our is customers. Music to our engineers' ears. It really is. Now, what I want to do though is look at some of the components you've manufactured because they are. I mean, my colleague looked at these and he's an en en engineer for 30 years and he, he just went, wow. You know, he was absolutely blown away by it. So just talk me through some of the components you've got here. Yeah, me too. I mean, when I first time saw the component, it is uh, mind-blowing what they do. I'm a uh, uh, quite long time in machining, but it's uh, very surprising what uh, Beijing Jingdao is doing with the machines. Um, they have a lot of technology. They have a very good team of engineers. Yep. Uh, they have more than 900 engineers only for R&D. Wow. Uh, and so they are really always a step in yeah. front from the questions that we have yeah. on the market. Okay, so some of the components we've got on show here, talk me through two or three of those very briefly. Yeah, we can do. Okay. Uh, we have uh, a mirror surface uh, component. Right. Uh, where you really see not only a micron surface, my nano. Uh, so very less, yeah, less than microns. Yeah, is. wow. It's a really a mirror. Uh, we have uh, mold uh, parts yep. where we can show you that it is not only one part but fits together, but we can uh, manage to do the part in one machine, but also different machines and still the parts fit together. Still maintain the accuracy yep. across plus, different machines. Plus minus two micron, we can do that. And we also do, uh, uh, we can show parts like a uh, chip, uh, um, um, <laughs> like uh, um, chip, chip grinding. Uh, we can do uh, medical parts, we can do yep. semiconducting parts. Uh, any industry you're pretty much saying? Yes, okay. we can do everything. And one, one sort of final thing, any materials as well? Yeah, we can do everything. Uh, I mean, uh, aluminium, steel, uh, 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 Starbucks, ceramic, uh, ceramic glass, glass, uh, fire, uh, glass, glass yeah. graphite. Yeah, yeah, we can, yeah. Any, any, anything essentially. Anything what, you, what is, uh, yeah, is possible on our own machines. There you go. Okay, yeah. so basically, Get your, get your component designed, the cam on it, and then let the machine do all the, all the work for yeah, you. Yeah, make your money. Make your money, there you go. That's Mark and David from Beijing Jingdao. Absolutely amazing machines. Uh, get in contact with the guys if you want to find out more.